Okay, I'm here at a place called uh, These Creative Greek Cuisine. I've ordered a tuna tartare. It's unlike anything I've ever seen in Greece before. I mean, we've seen tartare. But when the server served this to me, he said that um, I've got to make sure to mix it real well. I mean, it looks so pretty, but he told me to destroy it. I mean, look at this thing. Okay, so we're gonna destroy it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this fork and knife, and I'm gonna just take this thing far. <laughs> okay. You want to bring it later? Y yeah, bring it later. Huh? Okay. Yeah, is that okay? Perfect. Yeah, thank you. He was gonna bring me a Greek salad here, but I wanted you to see this as I destroy it. This is tuna tartare. The Greek salad is gonna be just a typical Greek salad. Maybe we'll see. I'll share that with you here in a moment. There we go, look at that. It's kind of a seafood night. I ordered the sea bream. Look at this. So I'm kind of in the center, kind of south of Monastiraki. These narrow little cobblestone pathways, you can't bring cars down here. All the restaurants have the tables out on the cobblestones. It's just a constant waft of people walking by. There's different music competing from behind me. There's pop, Western music. I got Greek music coming this way. and. Uh, It's a Wednesday night here in Athens, and I'm loving it. An update on the motorcycle. So, as you've probably seen if you follow any of those Instagram stories, last year we did so much work on the bike because it sat for those two years during COVID. There's not much need to be done. You know, I've already done the brake fluid, the coolant, new brakes, new tires, chain, sprocket. Um, there was even a, a, a bearing in the swing arm that needed to be changed, and we did all of that. So really all we're down to is a few cosmetic things, a few functional things, oil change, new filters, and um, the wind that blew my bike over in Crete in Spakia, or Spakion, um, knocked out one of the LED lights. So I'm taking care of that. Um, and then I also noticed that there's a crack in the in the windscreen. It's not a very functional windscreen, but it's a windscreen nonetheless. And I, I do mount some of these action cams on it uh, now and again. And maybe when it fell, it got compromised. And um, there's a crack and a piece missing, like a little triangle piece. So, Alexandros tells me he might have one from a wreck. Um, I was otherwise ordering it from BMW. I don't have that much time. I gotta get to um, Napatkos. I stay on um, Friday night there. Saturday at 5.30, I'm on a boat for about 17 hours to Italy. Yeah, Italy. There's no fucking way I'm gonna have Italian food in Greece. Why do people do this? Well. I am going to go to the Venetian castle in Nafpakos. Yeah. So, this is good. Limited wine list here. Some of the better bottles appear to be from International varietals like Syrah, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, there is an Ayuritico, and there is a blend, a Rapsani blend. But I'm wondering if it's the same one I've had that they sell at the duty-free shop when you leave here. I forget the producer. But meanwhile, that's what we're doing here in um, Greece. It's uh, 10 minutes to midnight.
looks like there's four tables, including me. I tried to come to this restaurant last year and they had already stopped, the kitchen was closed. So the guy told me, I said, where should I go? And he pointed right across the way to a place called Bandiera. It's right over there. And the guys at that restaurant last year treated me very well. I was almost itching to go back there again. But you gotta try, this was my initial instinct. We got a lot of boom da boom da boom da boom da boom music going on. Lots of pretty young ladies. I destroyed it. You like it? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Lovely. So uh, I've start, uh, you want me to start preparing the sea mimosa or you need some more time? Yeah, give me a little more time. And I know, I know they want to close, but you know. It's okay, it's okay. Take your time. Yeah, thank you. Well, this is the scene here in Athens. This is Dining in Athens with Alan Carl Worldwide. I've still got my Greek salad to come. And then, how about that sea breeze? Thies, creative Greek cuisine, Athens. I think we gotta get some B-roll while we're, um, while we're rolling. Can you see what's going on behind me? All right, greetings from Syntagma Square here at about 6.30 on a Thursday evening. Athens, Greece, of course. Behind me is the House of Parliament. I just witnessed the changing of the guards. It's the Epzones. They're the elite part of the Greek army that uh, serves as the presidential guard. And every hour they do a ceremony where the changing of the guards takes place right there at the tomb of the unknown soldier right here in Syntagma Square. Very cool. Check it out. It's where the, uh, the head of government is, the prime minister and, and all their cronies. Anyway, I'm about to meet Sarah, an uh, Italian lady I met a couple nights ago. She lives in Germany. Uh, but just an update on the dock. I picked up the motorcycle. And uh, when I first got there, Alex said that they couldn't get to the... They didn't have a screen to replace for that. But This is a little bit of a problem. But we'll deal with that. But they did the oil change, they did an overall safety inspection, and now I got the keys, it was ready to load up the motorcycle, and man, that exhaust was rattling like a mother. So loud. The exhaust is loud anyway, because there's absolutely no packing in there anymore. It's almost straight through. There's some baffles, but some of those things, um, in the end, there was a lot of talk in Greek while I was in there saying, God, that's gonna drive me crazy. And they said, what, the loudness or the rattling, or both? And I said, well, I, I can handle the loudness, but the rattling, I mean, it was a... I mean, I should have gotten an audio recording of that, and I, I kind of really um, bummed out that I did uh, that bus, uh, I was going to maybe run me over if I didn't watch that. Anyway, so they uh, said, go get a coffee, Alan, take the bags off the bike. They brought the bike back downstairs, opened up the exhaust, pulled whatever was rattling out of it, closed it back up again and said, you got a loud bike, but at least it's not rattling. Anyway, going to one of my favorite restaurants here in Athens, it's called Birdman. It's kind of this uh, Asian inspired take on some Greek and uh, very well regarded. So, um, so that's the plan. Good wine too, of course. Last night in Athens. <laughs> 